The following program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization. everyone and welcome to Never Say Never. I am your host Samantha Soravalli and I'm honored to have you all here with me. Um, I started this show on a whim. I had no idea. My dreams were to model, to do acting, to go to LA and my dreams were coming true. I had an agent, everything happened but for some odd reason this project came about at the same time calling, so to speak, and um, my passion wouldn't stop. I was hungry and I wanted it, and so I, I think it's only fair that you know a little bit about me and why this is so important to me. Um, I've had it all. I've had it all. I've lived the fast life. I, I had the most gorgeous husband in the world, the most amazing father. I have three beautiful children, cars, money, clothes, you name it, I've had it. And then all in an instant, it was gone. Just like that, gone. Um, my husband and I, we both lived in the nightlife inter industry. We both worked there. Therefore, our, party, our life was a party 24-7. We were best friends. We did everything together. Uh, we, were, we were soulmates. We had our ups and we had our downs, but at the end of the day, we had each other's back. No one could say nothing about either one of us without the other one saying, ha, I don't think so. So um, with that being said, when God called him home, I lost my best friend. I lost myself. And the way that I handled my grieving process was it only prolonged my destiny. Um, I wanted to numb the pain. I wanted to be able to get out of bed because I couldn't. Man, it's your boy, Tom. It's Paul, man. I, do I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't um, think straight. So what did I do? I numbed the pain and I turned to drugs. And then came trouble. And then I was lonely. So here I am in a room full of people, lonely and trouble and high. And guess what? I was still lonely. So one day, I get a phone call. At this point, I have no husband, no car, no clothes, borrowed clothes and broken shoes. That's, that's my bottom. And I get a phone call from a DCF worker telling me I had X amount of hours to come to them and to give them a drug test or I was going to lose my children. The only little bit of life that I had left. So what did I do? I got angry. I got angry with the people that called on me, my family, the ones that truly cared about me. How dare you? How dare you try to take my kids? But then I realized, wait a minute, Samantha, you're not the only one who's in pain. You're not the only one that's hurting and you're not with the people who care about you. It's time to step up to the plate. And that's what I did. I stepped up to the plate and when I did that, when I tell you, I dropped to my knees and I said, God, I can't do this anymore. I need you. I need you and I need you to help me because I can't do this. My children need me. I'm not the only one suffering. Make me selfless. I can't be this selfish anymore. Fill this void. And when I tell you, within two weeks, we had, it wasn't much, we had a little mobile home trailer, two bedroom, one bath, uh, it, Friends of uh, Fishhawk, FOF Association, they, they provided my, they knew my story, they provided my family, my children and I with clothes, shoes, food, you name it, we had it within two weeks. Three months later, my case was closed with DCF, and then I wasn't perfect from there, don't let me get, get, make you think that everything happened overnight. I'm still not perfect. My whole point of making this show is to show you that you may be in a dark place, but you can get out step 
by step. It's not going to happen overnight. But if you would ever tell me that I would be sitting right here today trying to help you, I wouldn't have believed it. I was that girl that was in the back of the church who was too ashamed of her life to fill out a comment card. Now I'm that girl that's in the front of the church praising the Lord with her hands in the air and I'm the most richest girl inside and everybody says, why do you keep smiling? What, why are you always so happy? Because I have faith. Because I have hope. And God never ever leaves me with nothing. Now my hope is that I can touch your life today and I can help you come out of what you're coming through. If not, that's okay because we have guests from all walks of life, from adversity, domestic violence, child abuse, street life, gangsters. And speaking of gangsters, our first guest today I'm very honored to have is Tommy Spaulding. And I want you to check out this little clip real quick. Check it out. Man, it's your boy Tommy Spaulding, man. I do this for all the go-getters, man. For everybody out there trying to make something, man. Do this yeah. for my boy Brent, my boy James, Chicago. my boy Elwood. Man, New we tell Florida, stand up. Louisiana. Nobody never gave me nothing, absolutely not a But I stayed on the grind and I ain't bad for a dollar. Yeah. Told my mama I'm the man if I did not buy the house and ride. Believe in yourself, could best believe I ain't doubting mine. My baby mama left me cause my pockets weren't full enough. Now I'm heavy. Dropping every time that I be pulling up Haters gonna hate so I don't wait I scream by a hater Now they looking up at your boy like the sky Pray for God on my side so no devils can't hold me in Aiming for the top and I ain't falling like bowling yeah. pins Work hard and that's the way you're on You can lay back I know it's hard to find like a needle in a haystack You gotta stay focused like a train on a train track But every time I see you, you just smoking like a brain crash You gotta go and get Sometimes it gets tough, but don't give up. Yeah. Just stay for the sky and keep your eyes on the prize, and you will rise. I know sometimes it gets rough, and sometimes it gets tough, but don't give up. Yeah. Just stay for the sky and keep your eyes on the prize, and you will rise. Don't sell dope, and don't sell coke, and don't stand still like an old school. Well, you gotta stay on track like an old railroad. Gotta go everywhere like an old fair road. When I was doing wrong, my mama said, Get your stuff together. Now we gonna ball in the mall, spinning just together. I keep the Jesus peace just to let you know I'm blessed forever. Motivation on full, charge the game like a bull. I count sheep in my sleep, cause I stay away from wood. I don't sell drugs, I follow my dreams until they blow up. I get on the grind like it's mine and I don't. Sometimes it gets rough, and sometimes it gets tough, but don't give up. Yeah. No. Just stay for the sky and keep yeah. your eyes on the prize, and you will rise. I know sometimes it gets rough, and sometimes it gets tough, but don't give up. No. Just stay for the sky and keep your eyes on the prize, and you will rise. Yeah. 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 I'm the top selling block melon trapper from the 80s. I painted the drop melon. I'm dapper in my Mercedes. I'm classical and I'm crazy. I'm loco. I'm off my rocker. Fantastical with these lyrics. I'm so in love with my chopper. My pocket's full of blue honeys. My currency overweight. I'm watching Tango and Cash me in Germany blowing cake. If you learn from me, you can make a million in your team. You want foreigns and everything. You can't get it at Dairy Queen. You better do some soul searching. Tidal waves go surfing. If you wipe out, get up, homie, and wipe out. Your homies crash dummies. My homies made me. Now stand back so I can adjust my black rape band. Look, this that new guard flow. They screaming, Amen. You see what Jigga did, man? I got the same plan. My book is dropping in March. I hope you go and grab it. How you go get me money advice and you never had it? I know sometimes it gets rough and sometimes it gets tough. But don't give up. No. no. Just stay for the sky and keep your eyes Look on the, the building, man. And you it's will die.
I know sometimes it gets rough and sometimes it gets tough, but don't give up. Just stay for the sky and keep your eyes on the prize and you will rise. Tommy Spalding, welcome to Never Say Never. I remember meeting you in the sky, what is it? The, the, sky, uh, the limousine, the sky limousine. The, the, uh, we had skyline limousine, yeah, that's limousine. right, yeah. that's right. And um, I just want to say, I mean, it's a pleasure to be on your show. I mean, that was thank a powerful, you, powerful you. testimony about, uh, about your whole uh, ordeal that you've been through and, and the drugs and, and asking God to help you and, and getting delivered from it. I mean, it was powerful and I know that it's going to touch a lot of people out there. So I just want that's to say my it's a goal. Pleasure being that's my show. goal. That's why I'm here. Um, and and it's funny because I remember watching your first video, and and the video we just viewed. And as soon as you started singing about go and get it, go and get it, and then the girls' verse came on, and it was sometimes it gets rough, but don't give up. Um, what is it? Look up. Don't give up stick to the sky and you will rise mm -hmm. and that's just like exactly what I just said so we're two different people from two different walks of life only difference was I said drop to my knees and said I surrender mm -hmm. she's saying look to the sky look and the don't sky. give up mm -hmm. so that's all about our faith and our hope and and you know tell us tell us what what made you want to go into the positive side of the rap scene what was your your motivation well you know the thing about it is I, I listen to a lot of rap music, and nowadays, like, everybody glorify drugs, you know, sex, kill each other, and stuff like that. So I said, I don't want to do nothing like that at all. I said, I want to be very different. I want to be positive. I want to actually help people to uh, rise and to make it, and I don't want nobody to go to uh, prison. See, one thing I noticed is, for example, these rappers, they're not selling drugs. They're multimillionaires. They, they're rappers, you know. So, but what happened is you got young kids that are thinking they really selling drugs, really killing people. So they go out there and start selling drugs, start killing people. Then they go to prison. But guess what? You don't see Lil Wayne going to the prison and visit these kids. You don't see Rick Ross going to the prison and visiting these kids. They just don't do it. They could care less. They do it all for the money and the kids. They thinking that uh, it's real, but it's really not real. So my message is to help people. Especially the youth that's out there in the streets for real. Mm -hmm. my, my message is to tell them that, no, don't do it that way. Don't sell drugs. Don't kill each other. Go get your business. Go finish school. Go be a lawyer. Go be a doctor. Go be a pastor. Whatever it's going to take to, to be positive and, uh, and to live a positive life. So you know, that's and, that, and that's crazy because I can remember telling my daughter she went through this little stage where she got popular. Mm -hmm. It's a little different than the hip hop world, but she's twelve. She's blonde hair, blue yeah. eyes, a little beauty, yeah. and she started bullying a kid. And I was like, "Look, you got what it takes. You can either go positive, and they're gonna follow you, or you can go negative, wow. and they're gonna Influence. follow you." You have to be a positive influence. And now those girls that were being bad and she's being good, she was just bragging the other day about how they're being good. So, like, I wow. applaud you for coming out oh, and making you. these songs thank you, and, thank you know, you. Just, just trying to change the game. Because I know I'll be in the car and, you know, we're listening to 94.1. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And if you know hip hop, you know what the beat of that song is. And then it's when it gets to that pool to, to the side. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Turn the radio down. We got kids in the back seat. So I, I like my hip hop music. So like it's it's great that you're doing this. And, it really you is. You just said something. Else. That's another point too. That's another reason too. Like when I'm well, got my daughter in the car, and. I have to always turn it down when they say something about you know sex or killing and stuff like that. So my thing is. I don't want people to tell my kids to go have sex and kill each other. So I'm not gonna tell your kids. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now we need a positive role model. Everybody that was positive. I mean, from the what uh, Miley Cyrus, she's be positive. Now she went this way. Uh, Justin Bieber, he don't went this way. <laughs> so many of them now are going the other way, and they're making that seem like it's cool. And I just want to let them know that it's not cool. And you it's know, not. And so it's I'm just not. trying to be a positive uh, role model, positive uh, influence to the world right now. And you know, and I'm so glad that you're here because that's what this show is all about. Once I started this project, and they said you, you should do your own show, and I'm like, about what? Whatever you want. 
And for some reason, this just weighed so heavy on my heart. And now, it, I mean, this is what this is all about. This is about showing people because you're, we're about to hear your testimony too. We're about to hear it shortly after this next clip oh, yeah. that I, I want to show. Always positive. Because I, I know that you have a story too. And you know, everybody out there, they don't know. You guys don't know it. But you're not alone. We are not perfect. We did not get to where we are today overnight. It was a struggle. It was a climb. And if we can do it, you can do it. Definitely. So I want to go ahead and roll into this next um, song. And you want to go ahead and in introduce this next clip? Well, yeah. This is a song called Change Our Ways. It's a very positive uh, song, a positive message to the song. So just tell everybody change your ways. So Tommy Spalding, Change Our Ways. All right. Let's roll into this clip. I want to dedicate this to this little girl named Aisha Washington. She went to a party expecting to have a good time. A fight broke off. And the straight bullet hit her. Rest in peace. They say it's cool to start killing. Every time I hear a rap song, they bragging about how much drugs they selling. How about me peeping and killing? Tell me when it came cool. Man, I'm telling y'all to wake up, man. Change our ways, man. Trying to change our ways. Making a fortune, but no jobs for the poor, so they forced to have abortions. It is the kids getting murdered by stray rounds. Daddy escaped town, but his daughter got laid down. What's wrong with this suffer world? The blind lead the blind to everybody do a crime and wonder why all this crime grew. I can't take it no more, so I refuse to bite my tongue. I'm exposing the devil to the top of my life when I was young. Why the rich getting richer, but throw my people to the slum? They host that the law get you a catch aids while you are young. Don't be dumb, be prepared and use your head for out. All right, guys, welcome back. Look at that. Look at all that positivity. It's making me excited. I'm not nervous anymore. I'm excited because I know that what we're doing here, right here, right now, making is for the best. We are making a change for society. My children are growing up here. Tommy's children are growing up here. And and we are we're here and we're doing we're doing it good. We're doing something right. But let, let's get to the truth real quick, because uh, it wasn't always positive for you, Tommy, oh, was no. it? Oh, no. You know, I had, I'm originally from Georgia, but we had moved to St. Petersburg in uh, Florida. 
And St. Petersburg, Florida is actually like number two, uh, the murder capital of, of America. And we didn't know they coming from Georgia. So anyway, you know, we growing up, and I used to get jumped a lot because people thought I was Mexican, so I used to get jumped a lot. So then I met this guy who told me, you know, St. Pete, you need a gun. You can't be right here fighting. People got guns here. So then I had, you know, started getting a gun. And um, I wanted to be the biggest, the biggest, the most notorious thug ever because I got picked on and bullied so much. I, I refused to get bullied again, and I just wanted to be the man on top. So I had, I had organized me a team up of people that knew they kill people for people that knew that was just great gangsters. I organized a team, I was the leader of the team. You were the leader of your own will. I was, yeah, yeah. So what we was gonna do is, we was gonna start killing, and I'm sorry to tell you the truth, but we was gonna actually start killing every other uh, people that was selling drugs, every other drug dealer, and we was gonna take over, we was gonna take over St. Petersburg, we was gonna move to Tampa, Miami, around the world. I want this big organization, you know. But what started happening was, I started watching a lot of my friends get killed, Game banging, a lot of them start uh, that was selling crack, start turning to being on crack, and then um, a lot of them went to prison for life. Uh, I was actually on the verge of going to prison for 15 years, and um, luckily by the grace of God, you know he he saved me from going to prison, and and you know I was just out there hard though, you know even after that I got out and I started you know just really start game banging even harder now. I want to be the man on top. So I would actually like I would actually rob them places like it was crazy, no mess. I would just go in any place I wanted to and just rob them just just because I wanted to feel like I'm the man on top and everybody in St. Pete knew I had a bad reputation of being like crazy. Don't mess with that guy. And I love the reputation, I love the popularity I had at the time, you know. You know, I and I wanna bring something up real mm -hmm. quick if you don't mind. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. But you also had a confrontation with somebody just as crazy as you. And then once you started to go after that, something didn't allow that to happen. And we know who that was. That was, I believe, a higher power. Um, and, and, and I want to hear you tell, just, just break that story up for us and how it ended. Just give us a brief bio okay, of the me, start and the end. Well, you're yeah, absolutely right. You know, I did have this uh, conflict with this other guy who just got to prison for like 10 years uh, for attempted murder. And make it also short, we was uh we got into it. We was out to kill each other. You know, he showed up to my family house with his guns and his boys, and I showed up to his mama job with my guns, and we was like pretty much playing tag to kill each other. And uh, but I never forget it. This one night, you know, I fell asleep, and um, I heard this voice out loud that said, you know, fear no evil, you know, fear not. And I was like, you know, what is that? I'm not done sleeping. It was this vision. Next man, though, I seen this, you know, like this uh spear form man with a white robe on. And I came down and he told me, you know, don't fear no evil and don't worry about that guy no more. And he's going to save me. And then, um, you know, he left. I was so blown away because I didn't really believe in God at the time. You know, I would have told you God was fake or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was a bit some gangster, you know. So anyway. Well, that's how it is. South St. Pete, if you're watching, please pay attention because you do not have to live that way. And this is a living testimony Right here. I mean, it can't get any deeper than what he's saying. Continue. I apologize. No, no. So, so about two weeks later, I actually ran into the guy that we was looking to kill each other, but was in another city. So I'm like, okay, we in another city. We both in another city at the same time. We went into each other, but at the time I didn't have my gun. But I said, you know, it's okay. I'm gonna fight this guy. He's a big guy, but I'm, I'm gonna fight him. I fight him till he die. So we walked into each other. We both looking all mad. And he was like, wait, wait, wait. I'm like, no, forget that. I'm going to hit you in your mouth. You know, he was like, wait, wait. Then he said, I just want to tell you I apologize. And then he hugged me, and he moved away to Miami. So what Jesus told me in that vision was actually, like, true, you know. So yeah. from that point on, I said, there's a, there's a higher power. There's God. Jesus is real. Was that your never? That was, was my was that that your never? Was my ultimate never. Because when I got that phone call from DCF saying, you don't contact us, you don't contact your kids. That was my never. So when 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 I dropped to my knees and I prayed to God and I said, I need you, help me, and he pulled me out of that cycle, and he pulled me out of that circle with the pop, you know, the negative people and started putting all the positive people. You know, I prayed three prayers or three things every night in my closet, on my wow. knees, and I for months because I didn't know how to pray. I prayed for faith. I prayed for God's grace, 
and the strength and the, well, and four, and put the peace in my heart because the loss of my husband was so great that I didn't think I could do it without the drugs. Wow. So, That's amazing. with that being said, I'm, I, I'm honored to have had you on this show, and it's just like, so it, it, it's just, it's so powerful to know that we have people from all walks of life. Like, next week, I'm going to have Miss um, Patricia Noel, who is a psychiatrist. She is a therapist. She's um, she's also an author. She has a new book coming out. And we're going to be focusing on self-esteem. You do not want to miss this. She is a very intelligent woman. And believe it or not, she helped me through steps of my own fears because I had fears of coming here tonight, too, because I'm human. Right now, though, I, I really feel like this is a good thing. It's a positive thing. That's our goal is to make a positive impact on, on today's society because we don't have that. We don't have, we hear on the news, we hear all the bad things. We hear, but we don't hear how the mom that got addicted to drugs finally got help and finally got her kids back and now they're living a glorious life of God. We don't see any of that. So hopefully what Tommy and I were able, our goal was to reach out to you and to give you hope. To show you that if we can do it, and I can come from no clothes, broken shoes. Well, I had clothes, of course, I mean. But you know what I mean. I lost everything. Everything started from the bottom. What is that song? Started, started from, from the, the bottom, bottom now, now we're here. <laughs> you can do it, too. You can do it. You can do this. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me, samanthas1608 at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Samantha Never Say Never. I'm open for questions. If you feel that you can reach out to someone, by all means, message me. Uh, Tommy, how can we reach you? Uh, TommyReallySpalding.com or, you know, of course, Facebook, Tommy Spalding, Twitter, Tommy Spalding 7 but mainly go to my website, TommyReallySpalding.com. And I just want to say that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're going, who you're going through it with, no matter if you lost somebody, no matter if you addicted to drugs, no matter if you're a prostitute, a killer, a thug, a game banger, no matter, you know, what, what your situation is, there's always God that you can turn to. So always. just remember, have faith as God to come in your life, and he will. And that's what this show is all about. And we are going to have so many inspiring guests on this show that have walked through life. And I guarantee you, if you keep watching every Tuesday night at 8 p.m., it's you're going you're gonna to hear something and you're going to be like, wow, that's my story and that's how I got to get through it. So this is Samantha with your, sh your host, Never Say Never. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you all for joining us. Tommy, it's been Thanks. a pleasure. I appreciate it. And um, never say never. Never say never. This program was brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization, setting the standard for new media broadcasting.